Well, back to the track, yet more speedsters out there. And this should be a special one with uh, the uh, top Brit, Hughes, in wonderful form in lane seven. Yes, it's the men's 200 metres. It features the world champion and the European and British champion. First up, though, that's Sile Taboga from Botswana, 20 years old, double world junior champion, was in action in Monaco on Friday. There is Zarnel Hughes, the British champion, over 100 and 200, in the shape of his life. Around that 1977 in biblical reign in Manchester, he goes in seven. Here is the double world champion, Noah Lyles. He says it's all down to the first 10 metres. If I can get out quickly, then I will win. Alexander Ogondo from Dominican Republic goes in lane five. He beat Arian Knighton in Hungary on Wednesday night. Harry King from the US, only the US number seven, can you believe it? Such is left, the British champion, the European champion, the man they call the captain, he's a qualified pilot. Can he navigate his way through to victory here against this man, Noah Lyles, and the trademark dregs. He was in quite spiky mood, I thought, yesterday in the press conference, and then entertaining at the same time. Maybe his competitive juices, his top-end speed is quite frightening. On your marks. So men's 200 metres. So Bogo, the youngster in the orange, Set. goes in eight. Hughes, the British champion. Well, he has got a good start, and Hughes is the target, the taller man. Into his running now, these three left the picture. To Bogo in the orange, leading the way. Hughes, now comes Lyles, pouring it on. Hughes and Lyles well clear, to Bogo with what to do, but it's Lyles who's stretching away. The world champion wins it once again. 19.46, the winning time. It's the fastest time in the world this year, beating his own 19.67. Wow. Meeting record as well. Well, if you run like that, you can afford to be a little bit spiky in a press conference because he's always entertaining, he's always worth listening to, but he always delivers. He hasn't lost the 200 metres race for many a day. Lyles wins it. Tobogo gets an area record in 1950 and a national record. Hughes has done it. John Regis's record of 1994 has finally gone. Hughes in third. I'm sure a little bit of disappointment with that, but he finally gets the British record. Meeting record, area record, and a national record. What a race. Well, I didn't think Hughes got the best of starts. There was almost a bit of hesitation as he came out of the blocks. Here, though, coming off the bend, he accelerated as he sent Hughes, uh, sorry, Lyles to his left. And then Lyles, I think, got a little bit riled by that. And I saw Lyles set the world best, I want to call it a world record, for 300 metres indoors. He's got fabulous endurance as Lyles. And when he turned it on, Chris, with about 70 to go, Boy, he blasted away from Hughes. When you think they were side by side with 100 to go, 60 metres later, he was two or three metres ahead. Fantastic from Lyles. That was him in full force, and he is still a growing force. Only three men in history, apart from Lyles himself, has gone as quick as that 1946. Just brilliant, but Hughes, the compensation, that national record 1973, his first time under 20 seconds. And Tobogo, what a great new name we've got with him.